Good evening guys, welcome back to another episode tonight. I've come down to Eastbourne, we're on the beach again and I'm fishing with Chris tonight, he's over there. He's coming in, he's coming in. Hey, how you, hey everyone, catch you later. So Chris is just setting up his bits and pieces now. I'm setting up my bits and pieces. Um, I'll show you what baits we're going to be using tonight, what the plan is and uh, let's get on with it. Right, Rod's there already set up, air power on one side, Tronix Pro Gorilla on the other. Uh, we've got some bluey bait on this rig, which is an up and over rig uh, with a red grip lead. But you can guess what we're going to be targeting with that. And then I haven't used worm for a while actually, but I went down Tony's tackle on my lunch break today. Uh, shout out to Tony because he's got some nice worm today. So I'm going to be scratching around on a two hook flapper on one rod and then going for uh, the good old raise on the other rod at distance. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's go and have a look at the water then. and. Uh, and then we'll check the, the baits and so on and so forth that we're going to be using tonight. So, yeah, we're fishing Shingon to sand. Like I said in my previous videos, most of Eastbourne is Shingon to sand, unless you go up the rockier marks. Uh, the water is it's not too bad, actually. It's uh, slightly coloured. I wouldn't say it's really dark, but, yeah, it looks all right. So, let's go and have a look at the baits we've got tonight. Right, so the main bait of choice for tonight, then, is the good old... The Louis, which is there, so I've just wrapped up into some little parcels. Um, the worm we got from Tony's there, which we're going to scratch around with and have a go. I've also got squid. We've got a bit of razor fish actually, which I picked up from the uh, from the beach um, during the storms. So we're going to give that a go, at tipping with that as well. Um, and I've got some squid and some mackerel as well. Right, and the rods are out. Rods are out there. First cast is out. All we can do now is sit and wait, and hopefully. The fish play ball tonight because after the last session, um, which we slogged it out in the uh, the wind and the rain for a handful of fish, I'm hoping that tonight the fishing gods are going to shine down on us and give us some lovely bounty. Oh, we've got a couple of wobbles on the right hand side, Rod, on the worm already. Could be the usual suspects though. Right, I'll come back to you if anything develops. Right, so the first fish on the worm. And it ain't a white in, <laughs> to my surprise, it is a dogfish. There we go. One dogfish in. Happy days. Let's get him back in the water. Let's do some more fishing. That's on the two at Flapper with a worm, that one. Awesome. There we go, so we've got a little couple of taps going on on the, uh, on the worm. Worm seems to be the favourite at the moment. Not a sniff on the bluey. Have a look and see what we got. All right, so we're at it again, and uh, there we go. A little whiting on the uh, on the worm. One whiting, the other hook has come back clean bare. So uh, hopefully it won't be a night of these little fellas, but we'll soon find out. Another couple to add to the collection. Right, now, folks, I think I've done it. I think I've beaten a record for the world's smallest whiting. Look at the size of that absolutely tiny <laughs> well that's definitely got to be my smallest white and ever I think, I think the piece of worm i've got is bigger than the white i'll let you have a look so there it is the smallest white and i've ever caught at least i've beaten one record tonight eh happy days right so i just started getting some positive bites on the right hand side which is a squid and razor fish combination. Fishing's been pretty slow tonight. There have been a couple of white and come out uh, and a dogfish that I had from earlier. Apart from that, it's pretty slow at the moment. Um, like I said before, we're fishing the, the tide in tonight. We're about two hours into the session. 
another three or four hours to go. There we go, nice pipe on the right hand side there. I'm calling the dogfish. It looks like it looks a bit bigger than, than a usual white and bite. Just gonna let it develop. Usually when I do this we end up losing the fish. It's been rattling around for a while now, so I think I'm gonna pull it in and we'll have a look, see what if anything is on the end. Yeah, so far, so a slow night, but it's really good company. Hopefully the fish will turn on and we'll be able to grab what we came for. Right well, guys, time to unleash the fury. Unleash the fury. Let's get a bluey head on and see how we get on with that. Nice and juicy. Right, so both rods are out, both rods are set up and bluey now. We're going big. One bluey head on the right hand side and one normal bluey on this hand side. Now, I did get a question the other day um, on Facebook, and it did pop up on YouTube actually in one of the comments, was that when you're fishing for rays, do you set the drag? And um, I mean, most of my fishing, I do set the drag really. I mean, the, it's not like super loose, but it's, it's enough that if, if, if a fish takes it, um, you're not going to lose your rod. So yeah, um, for rays and smooth hours of, you know, pretty much for most of my fishing now, I, I set the drag just so. I mean, if, if a bigger fish does come along on the off chance and it does take it, you're not going to lose your rod or you're not going to break your rod. So yeah, hope that answers the question. Do you set your drag? And the answer is yes. Right guys, another one for me. Another one bites the dust. Another dogfish. Right, so next on the menu is squid stuffed with razor fish. Nice squid parcels there. A bit of worm on that one. Going to fire them out and hopefully see what we can get. I don't know what it is about them, but I just seem to be a magnet for these little fellas. <laughs> Another one in the bag. There we go, there you go mate. There we go. Out it goes into the abyss. Right, guys, so we're back on the uh, bluey. Bluey on both rods. Um, fishing the last part of the rise of the tide. Uh, having some knocks on the right hand rod again, uh, nothing major. Getting a slight dust in of uh, the drizzle now, which is uh, unforecast, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, hopefully we won't get too wet. Just had a report uh, come in as well um, that there's a match fish down Langley Point tonight. We're a bit further down, we're down Cambridge Road area tonight. Um, there's a report that um, 16 anglers fished at Langley Point. A uh, mixture between dogfish, uh, white and sole, and a couple of plates. So that's pretty cool. Um, no rays, so. I don't know, maybe the rays are coming on the ebb. I don't know. Um, the reports of the rays have been pretty spaced out, to be fair. So the people that have ended up catching a few um, have been pretty lucky so far seems to be uh, that you've got to be in the right place at the right time um, which is you know which is usually the way it goes I'm afraid uh, but if we're not out of trying we're definitely not going to catch so get out and give it a go it's always good fun fishing especially when you're fishing with mates another one bites the dust uh, on the bluey can't believe it on the bluey these little guys will eat anything Starting to become more pro prolific than the whiten. Yeah, let's get them back in. Well, one thing's good. They're getting bigger. <laughs> They're getting bigger. Right guys, so we're just fishing over the last bit now. Uh, I've got my last two baits out. I've gone for worm baits. Uh, one's on a panel setup, one's on a two-up flapper. And I'll just ping them out. One close in, one a bit further out. And we'll see if we can get anything on the last cast. Right, a quick change over to the worm. 
on the two flapper for the last cast has resulted in one rock pin, which is there, which is quite a fat rock pin to be fair, which is there. And another one of my favourite pals this evening, another dogfish. So a rock pin and a dogfish on the two flapper, just going to reel in the other rod now and we'll see if there's anything else on it. Right guys, so that is the end of my two day fishing bonanza. Um, it's been good fun, it's been good fun. Obviously we haven't caught the target species which was a race, but judging by other reports locally in the area and uh, looking at matches and things like that, not many other people have caught rays either. So, you know, um, I think they've just disappeared for the minute. <laughs> Hopefully someone will send them back so we can catch a few more. And huge thanks to Chris for joining me on tonight's session as well. If you haven't already, do go over to his YouTube channel and check it out, Fishing with CJ. Um, there's loads of bits and pieces on there, sea fishing and pike fishing and boat fishing and loads of other cool stuff as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next adventure. Cheers!